Hello everyone. My name is Virginia Anastasova and I'm a member of the IECO Space team. In today's video, I will introduce you to some of the new interesting tools and improvements of SketchUp 2022. The new version of SketchUp has new features in SketchUp and Layout. We will look at the tools. Search tool Lasso tool, Tag tool, Freehand tool, Zoom selection in Layout, Auto text labels in Layout, and Find and Replace in Layout. If you are interested and want to learn about the new features in SketchUp 2022, keep watching the video. We start with the improvements in SketchUp. You see, we have a change in the scale person and he already has a different vision. The first tool I want to look at is the search tool. It is located here in the toolbar, but if you want faster access, you can get it using the Shift and S keys. You can see that we are getting a keyword shortcut. The purpose of this tool is to search by typing the names of tools, commands and others. You can also search for extensions or plugins. For example, I will type Sandbox tool and you can see that this extension appears. You can also search for tools by keyword or context. For example, I will write Extrude and you see that I get all the tools that have this function. Or radius. Again, I get all the variants of tools with such a function. If I may summarize, search tool is a good way to quickly find tools. The next tool is the lasso tool. You can find this tool here in the toolbar. As with the search tool, you also have a quick access option, which is shift plus spacebar case. The purpose of this tool is to select individual parts of geometries and objects. The idea is to avoid the traditional way of selecting by square. There are two ways to select. One is clockwise and the other is counterclockwise. When we make clockwise selecting, the function covers the objects that with the all their volume are in the perimeter outlined by it. When the selection is counterclockwise, the tool captures the object it crosses and they not have to be with all their volume in the outline. Also, the selection with the lasso tool can be used in terrain modeling and in general in modeling more organic forms. Selection with the lasso tool is suitable for more complex forms, where the traditional selection method will require several selections. With the lasso tool, selection will be one step away. The third tool I want to show you is the tag tool. This tool is a new addition to SketchUp 2022. There is a similarity with the Paint Bucket tool, but in this case, the Tag tool is for tags. This serves to divide the objects into different layers. The option is located in the default tray on the right of our screen and we work in the menu Tags. I will now create two tags. I click on the Add tag and name the individual tags. Tag. 
To perform the function, I click on the first tag I created and then click on the object. From here, the eye icon, we can turn on and turn off the object or the group of objects. This tool is especially suitable for many scenes with a variety of objects. The next tool is Freehand tool. Here, in the new version of SketchUp, Freehand tool has been improved. What do I mean? It can now be drawn on all surfaces. This makes it much easier and allows you to be more creative. Another interesting point with this tool is the emergence of individual segments. I draw a random line and you can see that it gets individual points or segments. The number of these points or segments can be reduced by pressing the Ctrl key and by the Alt key we can increase it. In the new version of SketchUp, the Freehand tool gives more freedom. We continue with the improvements in layout. The first new option which I want to show you is Zoom Selection. The goal is to get close to a selected object quickly. You no longer need to scroll for a long time to focus on the selected object. How does this option work? Once you have selected an object, right-click and select Zoom Selection. Here, it is important to specify that if you just click somewhere outside the selection, you will not be able to see the option. You must have selected an object. A good way to use this option is to use the keyboard case. When you have selected an object, select Alt plus Z to increase and Shift plus Z to decrease visibility. With this new feature in Layout 2022, you can successfully navigate large projects with detailed technical documentation. Other improvement in Layout is Auto Text Labels. I will create several pages from the menu Pages in the default tray and name them. I go to the menu file, Document Setup, and here you can see for yourself what a variety of information you could put on your pages. I will set the page number and author name. I click on page number, choose my numbering style and from which page to start numbering. I close the viewport. I go to my first page, choose a location and write the page number in this way. You see that I automatically received the page number. In the same way, I choose a location for the other components on the page. With this feature in layout, 
you automatically, without wasting time, set the information you would like to be present on the individual pages. The last function which I want to show you in layout is Find and Replace. With Ctrl plus F case, we can get quick access. We get a window in which we can write a word and by marking, we see where this word is present in our file. Also, we could replace this word with another. I choose replace O and you can see that I replaced the original word with another. This feature in layout is very suitable when preparing a presentation with a ready-made project. You can quickly and easily find words and replace them with others that you think are more appropriate. This was from today's video from SketchUp 2022. As you can see, there are many interesting innovations and improvements that will certainly be useful in your work process with the software. I hope the video was helpful to you. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow us on social media for more useful content.